Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going up to the Pacific Northwest where last night the skies were electrifying around 9 p.m. Thousands of witnesses saw this huge, what looked like a meteor shower traveling from west to east over the Pacific Northwest. I've gotten reports from Seattle, Pacific City, all the way down into Northern California, an area that spans nearly 500 miles. People witnessed the sky spectacle last night. Here's a photo by Suzanne out of Salem, Oregon. I'm gonna show you guys some video footage from the area quite good video footage of this really unique event that doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it is truly something to see. Like I said, there were probably thousands of witnesses based off of the time. It was around 9 p.m., so that was prime time viewing for people that were out and about. And here's the sky event, different photos and videos that I received via email from people in the area that happened to be outside and noticed this incredible event. That photo right there is from Suzanne. You're getting ready to see a video that was sent in by Shay N from Pacific City, Oregon, who was outside with her friends, looked up and saw this very bright cluster of debris falling through the sky, headed towards Earth, moving from west to east. And from her location, she said it was moving in the direction of Portland, Oregon. And this was around 9 p.m. last night huge debris field of glowing what look like meteors falling through the sky. I'm going to show you guys exactly what that was here in just a moment. Here's yet another view from Seattle, Washington by Mom the Ruler who happened to notice it as it was moving through the skies visible from Seattle. Here they look more horizontal, uh, just dozens of what look like a cluster of bright fireballs moving through the sky. And at the time, nobody knew what these things were. People were quite shocked when they looked outside and saw this activity in the sky. They had plenty of time to get out their recording devices and start recording. As you can see, this lasted for several seconds, probably more than 30 seconds, if not longer. Here's a view from Northern California sent in by Ryan. This occurred around 9 p.m., and this is consistent with all the reports from up in Washington and, and Oregon. Down here, you can see the object hasn't yet disintegrated. It's still kind of in one piece. And then towards the end of this video, you can see it start to break up just a little bit. But here it was super bright, bright orange from Northern California. Here's some photos I received from DM Ataku from Oregon. As the bright objects were slowly moving through the sky, they were a fiery orange at the time of this photograph. And you can see what looked like chunks of debris Speaking of chunks of debris, here's what looks like a, a huge debris field. This is the photo sent in by Suzanne out of Salem, Oregon. Look at that incredible photo by Suzanne, who just happened to be outside when this huge collection of debris came soaring through the atmosphere, putting on a awesome show for those spectators outside that saw this event. And here's exactly what happened. Over here at spaceweather.com, they're talking about it. And space debris was witnessed over Washington's the headline of the story, dated March 26th of 2021. Sky watchers in Washington State witnessed a shower of disintegrating space debris on Thursday evening, March 25th, around 9 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Amateur videos captured dozens of slow-moving fireballs. It was likely the upper stage of a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket that launched 60 Starlink satellites way back on March the 4th. The booster failed to deorbit as planned on March 4th, and this was its delayed re-entry. Over here at SatTrackCam.com, their predictions were pretty close. They were thinking this thing was going to re-enter actually a little sooner, but it came in on March 26th around for uh, Universal Time, which was around 9 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. And this is a graph showing when gravity took over and pulled this big booster back down to planet Earth. And they even said it came in somewhere over North America, over the state of Washington right here on this map is when they last tracked it on satellite. 
That's when the booster fell off of the map right there above Washington, making a spectacular re-entry above the Pacific Northwest. I put together a little demo of what it would look like from space. There's the booster as it was orbiting the Earth for three weeks, which was quite surprising. They did not expect it to last that long. In fact, it was supposed to have came back down the same day back on March 4th, but that's what the booster looked like. Pretty good size, and then once gravity took over, pulled it down to the surface of the Earth, people down on the ground looked up in the sky and saw a spectacular show around 9 p.m. above the Pacific Northwest. So not very often do you see shows like that in the nighttime sky. A lot of times when these things re-enter the atmosphere, they do it over water, but this was one of the exceptions to the rule. It happened over land during prime time when people were not sleeping, people were up and out and about and there are a lot of good videos and, and photos going around these are a few that were shared with me I want to thank you guys for sharing greatly appreciate that obviously I didn't see it from from down here in Arizona but you guys up in the Pacific Northwest had an incredible show now back to the website quick look at the Schumann resonance got a little bit of activity in the Schumann but not too much very small spike and for some reason a absence of data for about 18 hours hopping over to the Yellowstone supervolcano caldera looking at the side Seismographs that monitor the mighty super volcano. They too look pretty quiet. We've got a little bit of activity here and there with regard to small earthquakes. Once again, a little bit of action on the northeast quadrant and along the northern rim, but all in all, pretty quiet. Much like the solar situation, no incoming solar storms at the moment, but that could all change. Looking at the power outage situation right now across the United States, Alabama and the upper northeast are dealing with with some weather conditions and tornado season is right around the corner and all of those power outages are weather related due to high winds we're here at windy.com just a quick look at some of the wind gusts 58 miles per hour in central pennsylvania there's 164 miles per hour these are wind gusts that are ongoing right now as i do this video if you guys have any photos you'd like to share you can send those to reports at mr mbb 333.com all the photos end up here at the sky phenomena photo gallery at the website and sometimes i'll use them in a video just like you saw right here thanks for watching have a super day and be safe out there